Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In our previous tutorials, we have learned how to add a new attribute or to set a value of an attribute by using set XML element attribute action. In the same way, if we want to update or set an XML element value, in that case, we have used set XML element value action. But to add or insert a new XML element, in that case, we have used insert XML element action. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to remove an attribute or an XML element by using two different actions, that is remove XML element attribute as well as remove XML element actions. All right, first, let me show you how to remove an attribute from the XML element by using remove XML element attribute action. Let me show you a small example over here. If you see on my screen, I'm having an XML with the name of students and teachers dot XML. If you see over here in my student node, I'm having attributes as gender as well as class. These are the two attributes that I have. I want to remove one of the attributes from this node. That is, let's assume I want to remove the gender attribute. In that case, we are going to use remove XML element attribute action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. First, we'll see the parameters for the remove XML element attribute action. The default parameter for the XML actions, the first one is XML document. From which XML document you want to remove the attribute? That is, we are using XML documentation, which we have read from read XML from file. All right. Now, if you see the second parameter, XPath query. The attribute which you want to remove that XPath we need to provide. Over here, if you see, I'm having students teachers slash students. Inside that, I'm having student. This is the path which will give to remove the attribute. I'm going to give the same XPath query over here as students teachers slash students slash student is the XPath query. Now, over there, I want to remove the attribute, right? If you see the third parameter, I need to provide attribute name. What is the attribute name that I want to remove from the XML? That is gender. All right. Now, once we have removed the attribute from by using remove XML element attribute, the data will be stored in the variable that is XML document. All right. Let me click on save. Let me explain you this flow over here after adding the remove XML element attribute action. First step, we are going to read the XML from the file that is students and teachers dot XML. After that, from that XML document, we are going to remove the attribute with the name of gender by using remove XML element attribute as part of step two. Once we have removed the attribute from the given XPath query, we are going to store the XML data inside the XML document flow variable. And then we are going to rewrite the XML inside the same XML that is students on teachers dot XML. And finally, after executing the all the steps, I'm going to say the flow has been executed successfully. All right, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And you can see flow has been executed successfully. Click on OK. Now let me go back to the original XML where we have. If you see right now, I'm having the gender over here. Let's refresh once again, you will get it. Now if you see over here, student gender equal to male was previously we had in this students on teachers.xml. Now after using remove XML element attribute action, the attribute that is with the name of gender has been removed from the node of student which we have given as part of the export query. All right. This is how we are going to remove the attribute by using remove XML element attribute action. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye bye. Have a wonderful day.